Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing three random horror games, most of which I found on Itch.io. This is the first one, it's the demo for an upcoming horror game called The Wreck. So let's go ahead and check it out. It's important to note, this is a demo version, and everything will be improved. Just so we're all clear. It. What? This is the cutscene? I think I'd be hard pressed to call that a cutscene. <laughs> Sounded like it was just audio. So what did we hear? We heard running, a door opening, panting like the character was out of breath, a monster screaming, and that was it. So now we're here in Spooky Monster Town. Great. All right. Help me! Get out of here fast! Well, which is it? <laughs> Make up your mind! <laughs> Do you want help, or should I just get out of here without you? What is this? If someone's reading this, then leave this bunker as fast as possible because he can be behind you any time! Currently, one door at Hall is blocked with big rocks, so only way to leave this place is to go up ladder, which is also located in the hall. But you must find a key, which is placed in safe and locked with a code. That is... An information dump, man. Alright, so, wait, wait, wait. We gotta go up a ladder in the hall, but first we have to find a key which is in a safe and locked with a code. Okay. Got it, so we need a code. He is not normal! That's a bit judgmental. Are any of us normal? How do you define normal? So, I see some numbers in the lower left. I guess that's my heartbeat? Interesting. This just says, TODAY! And that could be a G, or it could be a 6. Not really clear on that. Don't look behind! <laughs> what, like, behind me, or behind the wall, or... Or what? The name is Wreck! <laughs> Great, okay, here's the safe. You mind keeping it down? I'm trying to look for a safe code right now. I know you're being tortured or whatever. Wreck. I wonder if that name can be translated into a four digit code. To get the code for safe, you'll need to open a big door which is located in the room right next to Hall. Also, I think you'll need to find a key to that room. That's what I heard. But <laughs> from where? Is there gossip in the spooky monster town? Please get out fast. I am here stuck for like five days now, and I think you'll find me soon. Well, forgive me if I don't take game advice from someone who's been stuck here for five days. Okay. I'm running out of lantern oil, which is not a good thing. Need to find some more of that. Is there any way I can unequip the lantern? Oh, what? It's, it's a key. It's a cartoonish looking hand. Alright, there are vines over the store, but we just opened it anyway. Wait. Is there any oil in here for my lantern? Because I kind of need it. Oh boy. You think I could just grab a torch or something and work off of that? I don't know. So the key doesn't go to this. Great. Alright guys, I started the game over so that we could save some time. Wouldn't have to look for more lantern oil. Because I don't even know if that's a thing. Bunch of levers. Not that one. Okay. Was that the wrong lever? My story ends here. Okay, hang on. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't think so. Was that the monster? There he goes! Come back! No, where are you going, you coward? Come back! You don't want to kill me? Fresh meat! Right, I know where the key is anyway. I don't need you. Take this. Now, where does this key go? Don't press the levers. We'll go... Doesn't go to that. Okay, good luck if you end in here. Karchi. Thanks, Karchi. 
for the bit of advice. Q is what that says. So we found Q and G. All right, another Q. I don't think that that means anything. Uh... Oh, that's lantern oil. Oh, cool. Um, once I triggered the alarm, but somehow I managed to stay alive and hide. Be sure not to trigger it again. I think you can trigger alarm if you get the electric box code wrong, or if you cut the, a wrong wire. That's what I did last time. Don't end like me! Where are they getting, like, all this paint? To scribe these hints on the walls. Alright guys, welcome to my rec demo speed run. We'll get that key, and then we immediately just head to this one. Speed run's not off to a good start. Okay, let's head this way. Let's say photos are keys. All right, so the key goes to this thing. Photos are keys. If you see this paper, please stay calm because that monster can easily track you when you have a higher heartbeat thanks to his extreme good hearing. <laughs> he can hear my heartbeat? And don't run too much. Uh-oh. Little help. Room right next to the hall is called the statue room and there you must solve puzzle by putting three symbols inside those statues. These symbols are probably hidden somewhere. Like this, maybe? <laughs> Could this be one of them? Uh, let's see. There is always a way. There's a statue room. I didn't see that. What? My story ends here. Well, okay. I'll give it one more shot. What? He killed me like through the wall. All right, I think we're done with the wreck. It was just, it was on the Ichio Horror Tag. I don't know, it was one of the top games. Oh boy, oh my God, I just realized something. That monster, I've seen it before. It was from a game called The Basement. Well, then get it, turn off the light. Whoa, Leave me alone, no. said the monster. No. You're making me feel very what? uncomfortable. What? Oh, that's weird. Okay, well, bye-bye, The Wreck. On to the next game. All right, guys, the next game that we have lined up for you today, Death Trips, another one that I found on the Ichio Horror Tag. It was like uh, in the first row, so maybe it's pretty good. October 31st, 2008, that's Halloween. Inspector M. James, doesn't have a first name, very common, is in a hunt for a serial killer called Lady Death. The last victim of this dreadful criminal was found in this cheap hotel where Lady James is currently investigating. Unfortunately for the inspector, the murderer is still there. Okay. So we're looking at... Oh, no. Hmm. Bad reception signage. Um, we are the shortest inspector of all time. Our chin barely clears the top of the desk. We got a key. That's me, Inspector James. Very good at my job. Do we use the key to open this door? No. Take the elevator. What floor do we go to? We can't select a floor? What kind of hotel is this? Oh my. Oh no, it's that model. What? What was that? Death trips, I get it. Oh, you got me. <laughs> Death trips. This is the Ichio horror tag right now, guys. This made it to the top of the bunch. Cream of the crop. Oh man, that reminds me of a game I've played called Greetings. Developed by uh, Charlie Bahan. <laughs> if you haven't seen that, I, I have the video linked in the description, if I remember. <laughs> 
Not what I was, okay, okay, you know what? That was refreshing. I didn't mind it. Thank you, thank you for that. Man, I was so, when I saw the model, it was that hospital gown, bloody mouth horror game model that I've seen in like 80 million indie horror games. Bubonic Outbreak, most infamously Room 404. Uh, it's been in like everything. Life After Us, The System. It's just been in so many of them and I think it's like free on the Unity store or something. So when I saw that, I started going through my inner monologue of just like, oh my God, not again. It's one of those games. And then the unexpected happened. That was great. Foiled by <laughs> uneven carpet. Love it. All right. Let's move on to the next game. Hey guys, it's John. And today we are playing Faith Chapter 2, the sequel to the game Faith, which I played several months back. Faith was a retro horror game in which you played a priest looking to exorcise a house in the middle of the country that was possessed by an evil spirit. And it looks like the sequel may be the same concept. We're playing the same character. It's kind of stylized uh, like old Atari graphics, at least in my mind it is. I haven't played an Atari game in probably 20 years. Hi. This dude looks really happy to be in a car wreck. Okay, well... I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'm not actually sure why we're on a country road again. I think after the events of the last game, I would have just been content to go home. Maybe to the big city. Oh, the body's gone. So we're gonna follow the blood trail into the cornfields. Oh, this is actually the demo to Faith Chapter Two, by the way. Did you see that red thing? I guess the body crawled out on its own. Hi, Scarecrow. He's happy. He's glad to be here. Oh, what is that? Um, the corn stalks were moving. Is something coming after me? Something I can't see? We're back at the Scarecrow. Hi. Okay, wait, how do I bring the cross out? That was like a big part of the first game. There we go, it's space. Okay, maybe we just kill whatever it is in the cornfield. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, run, run, run! What, did I get it? It didn't seem to be affected by it. All right, where is he? He's over here. What'd you say? Said something that I didn't understand. Got him though. Uh oh. The scarecrow's not so happy now. <laughs> I guess we just gotta do that like two more times. I'm guessing. Vanquish the evil spirit. I think he's coming this way. Got him. I don't know what you're saying, buddy, but die. Let's check the scarecrow. Okay, another hole in the scarecrow's face. Slowly <laughs> deteriorating. Okay, he's coming this way. I wish I knew what he said. Okay, it looks like the Scarecrow's whole face is gone now. Yep. I guess that spirit was his buddy or something. And he's protesting. No, another dead dog, why? Okay, we exercised it, so we got a note. About a week ago, we started hearing those awful noises coming from the adjacent fields. After three nights, the children were getting pretty scared. I told them it was just coyotes. That third night, the noises seemed closer than ever. The dogs were panicking. I could hardly approach them. Then Greta, the last of that old line brought over by the German missionaries, broke loose and tore off into the corn. 
We all listened, too scared to go after her, as her barks faded away into the distance. Hmm. Okay. After that, we had two nights of silence besides the endless whispering of the wind blowing through the crops. But then, this morning, I stepped outside to see this fresh horror left at the edge of the field. There's something out there. Yeah, you're right. Too bad you didn't do nothing about it. Hi. Exercise you? Thank you. Somebody just needs to walk around with a cross. All your problems are solved. What more could I have done? I warned them not to go into the fields. I warned them against straying too far from the sanctuary. Should I have shut them in their quarters and nailed boards over the doors? Now I'm digging six graves here in the shadow of the church. Six little graves forever looking to St. William. Some of the boxes are empty. The scattered remains we found couldn't fill them all. But I know they're all gone. I know their souls were taken by that thing in the field. I will finish my gruesome work and then renounce the ministry. I don't want to see anyone from the sanctuary ever again. Not even that girl who stayed inside the house last night. I don't believe in the devil anymore. Whatever did this is much, much worse. Hmm. That's a shame. Hey. The old church, let's go inside. Death awaits. Yeah, this seems like a stupid idea. <laughs> We have a new volunteer to look after the children and take care of things around the sanctuary, Sister Belle. She came highly recommended by the main office in Hartford. Bringing her in marks of completion, wait, bringing her in marks the completion of staff in the church after all these years. The church has been very careful about letting out what happened to those children. As far as I can tell, I'm the only one left who knows about it. Soon I'll be gone and the sanctuary will be able to go back into service, having finally left those dark times behind. We've even received clearance to move in a new group of children. Good, th they'll die too. Three next week and another three sometime next month. Wow, three children? Are you sure you have enough room? Okay, let's uh start start walking. Thou shalt not kill, but instead it says, shalt kill thou. <laughs> it's a threat. <gasps> Cross just fell. That's not good. At least they haven't turned upside down yet. They couldn't have given me a worse last case before retirement. Old Catholic church out in the middle of nowhere. One missing woman, four missing kids, and one deceased old man. Oh, none. <laughs> one deceased old nun. That's Sister Bell. The brothers and sisters, or whatever the hell the people that work here call themselves, are all terrified and worse, superstitious. All except Father Clark, who runs the place. Him and I drive along the farm roads at night, looking for signs of the missing people, and he makes for pretty good company. There are two kids left, twins. Say they were asleep the night the four went missing. They also claim that the woman, Miriam Bell, isn't actually gone. When I ask where she is, they look at each other, then back at me, and tell me to ask her myself. I see. So, the nun is evil. Got it. Evil nun. I'm playing another game about an evil nun. Very excited. Oh. Gotcha. <laughs> Alright. So, we exercise something from the portrait there. I will bless your child? Thank you. You didn't have to do that. That was nice of you. This morning we found this very odd objects around the church. Best way I can describe them would be large life-size dolls made of sticks and dead tree branches. Someone must have placed them there while we were sleeping. Hoodlums, maybe. Or a group of weirdos. The twins seem fixated on these doll things. They stare out the window at them all the day. I even heard them shout that they saw Miriam standing around them. But when I looked, there was nobody there. Maybe it's the strange behavior of the twins, or the hours of driving these farm roads at night, but this place is getting to me. I keep having the same nightmare where I'm standing outside the church, looking out into the fields. I can see people looking back at me through the rows of corn. 
Their bodies are painted red. Hmm. All right. Let's take a look. Oh, it's a purple skull. Is it? Yeah, it is. It was, rather. It's gone now, there's a confessional. Is it haunted? Ah! Oh, no, nothing to exercise here. It just opened up on its own. Everything's fine. We are baby. How I dare you? No I had no choice. I didn't catch the first part. Another note to read in my terrible Georgia accent. I should have known this place was no good. <laughs> the signs were all around me. The disappearances, the creepy twins, the life size stick dolls. Four of them. Round two in the morning, we woke up to the sound of an old woman's cackle coming from the hallway outside the twins' room. I know this sounds crazy, but when we got to the hallway, the laughing was coming from a painting of the Virgin Mary. We thought we had lost our minds. Just then, we heard the loud noise coming from the chapel. We got there just in time to see Miriam drag the twins down the stairs leading to the basement. I drew my service weapon, but was stopped by Father Clark. He said something about God's work and headed down the stairs, sealing the opening to the stairs behind him. And you just let him do that? The stairs don't seem to open from this side. All I could do is wait. You could have stopped him from doing that. I can't describe the noises I heard down there, but one thing is certain. The devil is real. To anyone reading this, please, for the love of God, don't go down into that basement. You know, you'd think as someone who lives in the American South, I could do better Southern accents, but you know. I guess it's good to be proven wrong every now and then, isn't it? You were wrong about me. How does it feel? Okay. What do we do? Oh, okay. Stained glass. Right? A hand coming out of their mouth. That's very cool. And this one's just a cross. Surprise! That one was bad. What's up, guys? Ah! Ow! <laughs> Ouch! Why would you do that? Why would you do that to me? Okay, wait. What's your problem, bro? Let's go to the left this time. I didn't go this way last time. Got it. Oh! Oh! Excuse me? Sister Belle seems like a natural cheery person. But when the new children arrived, she became positively elated. She doze over them constantly, takes them on walks, tells them stories long into the night. I'd seen her engaging in strange behavior. We don't teach the children much dancing or singing, besides what is found in the hymns. But I've seen the children dancing around Sister Belle in a circle from time to time. While the dance, she stands still and looks up at the sky as if listening to something. On another occasion, found all six children standing in a long, in a, in a line just outside the cornfield. They were all looking into the field where Sister Belle was standing and talking to them. These odd games don't bother me too much since she's so good with the children. Her cleaning is excellent too. As soon as she arrived, she seemed to just instantly know her way around. Hmm, okay. Instantly, huh? Like she died here? And then the last one you want to get is this window up here. And I think we just have to run out because otherwise they'll kill us. Run. Yeah, the cross doesn't stop those guys. I don't know why. Darkness surrounds thee. Okay. Thank you. Can I pick up the flashlight? Uh, 
Oh, I got it. Okay. Oh, there's some red stuff down here. <gasps> Hi, guys. Ah. I got my cross up. Okay. We're up. Oh. Oh. Damn it. This flashlight is terrible. It doesn't light up anything. Okay, I'll try again. Got him. Got him? I think I got him. Okay. Go around the uh, edge of the room. Do we go back the way we came? <gasps> it's Sister Miriam Bell. Okay, let's pick up the note. Here is the ritual of the door to hell. Let no brother or sister utter it. He that is master of spirits, let their spirits... Wait. Let three spirits that follow the dragon be put into the effigy of the accursed. Only then can it be purified. You will know it is time when its eyes glow red. To enter the unseen world, destroy the purified effigy with fire. Then shall the door to hell be opened. This is the ritual of the door to hell. Let no brother or sister utter it. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I had a frog in my throat. Pretty scary looking, though. Oh, okay. Purple guy went this way. Hey! What? What? Okay. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. <laughs> what I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. My score was 660 out of 666. What? There was more stuff I could do. So that was the demo for Faith Chapter 2. I did really like the first game, so I'm excited to play the sequel. The dev actually told me that the content in this demo isn't going to be in the full game, so nothing got spoiled for us. This was an exclusive experience. I do like the retro style. Nobody's really making games like that anymore, much less horror games that look like they were made 30 years ago. And I like that about it. It's definitely something unique and different. I'm really late on playing it. Sorry about that. Like months late, the dev actually poked me on Twitter and made a pretty cool little image. <laughs> asking me to play it, so I feel bad for taking so long, but I did enjoy playing it though. I do like busting the demons with the cross, fun gameplay, and yeah, play the full game when it comes out. With that said, let's move on to another one of the games that I have prepared for today's three random horror games. All right guys, I know I said three random horror games, but we're actually gonna do another one because Death Trips was so short. This is another gem from the Ichio Horror Tag. It's called, He Keeps Me Here. Let's go ahead and get started. At least the menu has like a semblance of atmosphere, you know? Oh, here we are. Cool. I can never leave. I think that's probably an exaggeration, but... I'm exhausted, but I can't sleep just yet. Well, what can you do, my friend? What are you able- Oh my god. I dream of her. Yeah, it's called a nightmare. Oh my god. That face is a nightmare. I hate this mirror. 
Yeah, I'd hate mirrors too if I was you, buddy. I have to find a way. Okay. Do you have her phone number? That's step one. Yeah, yeah, I hate this mirror. Okay. I'm exhausted, can't sleep just yet. He keeps me here. I can never leave. He keeps me here. Excuse me? Okay. So, do we need to... Do we need to get something to... Do I investigate the cabinet? Have to find a way. He can see me. Well, yeah. I don't see any curtains, so probably I have to leave. I'd love to. Where'd he go? <laughs> uh, where'd Mr. Crooked Neck go? It's a package. It's about time I got a clock. Oh, you cheese factory. That was a pun, wasn't it? I know just the spot for this. Where? Oh. The numbers are backwards. Can I help you? I have to leave. Well, I don't I wouldn't leave right now. He's right outside. There's just no way. Oh, get the get the hammer. My hammer. I've been looking for this. It's the only thing in this room. What do you mean you've been looking for this? Break open the door. Smash the mirror. Yeah, wait. Oh, we were in mirror world. But now Everything is right. I must go to her. Let's do this. Let's get it. I'm finally someone. Now I can be with her. We are victorious. He will never see me again. Yes. Yes. Score one for the good guys. How is this a horror game? <laughs> Thank you so much for playing. Okay, all right. You know what? I mean, I liked, I liked kind of how bizarre it was. It was very short, wow. Not as short as Death Trips, but very short. I did like the shot of the monster peering into the room. That was kind of interesting. Probably the most visually interesting thing that happened in this entire video. So that's probably gonna be the thumbnail. Um, yeah, I mean, what is there to say about like a five minute <laughs> game like that? If it's five minutes, it might not even be that. Wow. All right, well, let's review what we played today. We played the demo for The Wreck, which, is that really gonna become a full game? Come on. The demo for Faith Chapter 2, which was enjoyable. Death Trips, which was oddly interesting. And then he keeps me here. Uh, I'd say the stud of the four is easily Faith Chapter 2, but I knew that was gonna happen. I just figured, I figured it would have been a little short video, so might as well add a couple other games in. And also would ensure that there'd be something good in three random horror games. Cause sometimes when I do three random horror games, I just, I don't find a good one. And they're all bad, and that's no fun. So, while the other three weren't very interesting, I think there was enough there to at least be entertaining. Let me know what you guys thought about each of the games in the comments, and if you like the three random horror games format, I have a playlist in the description of all the previous videos, so you can just watch them if, if you want. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.